We do have one more caller we're going to take before we have our next short break. We have Gail holding on the line. Gail, what is your question tonight? I have a question. My son was hurt. Um, it was a truck fell on him at my, uh, a friend of mine's house and it broke his collarbone. Can that be filed on their homeowners? The truck fell on him. I, I, I wish we could ask Gail more questions, but we don't have the ability yep. to do that because how Well, it sounds the, like maybe he, there was a repair work going on or something. Maybe under the truck? We've had cases Possibly, where, yeah. you know, someone puts a vehicle on a ramp and is doing work and things like that. So if the son goes to someone else's home and the, the owner put the truck on a defective ramp or something negligently, then, then he may be able to recover. But it is at someone's home, like you pointed out earlier. This is yep. at someone's home, not at a business. So wouldn't she be covered? I mean, wouldn't he be covered with something? You would think that homeowners may kick in, but then, Harry, there's this immunity that they passed a few years ago. Again, thanks to our legislature and the insurance uh, company, which appear to be in cahoots, they, uh, the Landowner Protection Act uh, or the Immunity Act, which if you go to repair something uh, at a business or at a home, and say like a skylight or a ceiling, and then you are injured because of the skylight or the ceiling, say caving in, that landowner now has immunity. And so it seems like it's getting harder and harder for injured Mississippians to go to court and get compensated when they're hurt through no fault of their own. That's right, you see this a lot, independent contractors, someone's hired to go do a particular type of job. So for instance, you're hired to go repair some rotten wood on a roof you go up there to repair the rotten wood and you fall through the wood, well, it's you, you can't say that there's negligence because you were hired for the particular purpose of repairing that rotten wood. Oh, you see what goodness. I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. But now, say, for instance, the homeowner gives you a rotten ladder to go up to fix the rotten wood and you, you, you fall because the ladder collapses. You may you get around that because something else caused the injury, not the what you were particularly hired to do. Well, in this case, it doesn't sound like he was hired to do anything with a truck, and but it sounds like that would be a really bad injury. So would it just be his own insurance that he would have to use to get taken care of? Well, if there's homeowners, it would be, as Rocky mentioned before, there would be med pay. It, okay. But there still could be a negligence, a liability claim, depending on you know what caused that truck to, to fall. So obviously, Gail needs to contact an attorney to figure out. There are a out, lot of moving uh, parts with so that. There's so many yeah. questions that so need right. to be answered. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you both for great answers on that.